Hooray! Rematches, I guess. I don't know. So anyways, yeah. Undertaker Batista, probably one of the greatest matches, in my opinion, next to Cena versus Michaels at Mania 23. So. Yeah. So what happens, you ask? Well, instead of Shawn Michaels versus... Uh, instead of Michaels going up against... Uh, Michaels again faces off against a dead man. I'm just joking on that, of course. Because the guy who... Undertaker is going to face a great American bash. Big Dave Batista. Or Blue Tista, Boo Tista, whatever you want to call him. He's wrestling the Undertaker. Let's just get into this. Okay, so I mentioned this last man standing. There's always more to the story, kids. Oh yeah, and by the way, congrats on Batista for returning. Good for you, man. Good for you. Okay. I can't do a good Michael Buffer impression, so I can't really do the let's get ready to rumble thing. So, yeah, Great American Bash. Here we go. The Dead Man. Arguably one of the greatest, arguably the greatest wrestler in the history of WWE. And here we are. The legend, the icon himself, the phenom, whatever you want to call him, Undertaker's here. After successfully defending a streak against Shawn Michaels. He's looking for a whole new... Victory. One week after his his pay-per-view victory over Batista <clears throat> at Mania 25. Of course, sorry, it's uh, his victory over Shawn Michaels at Mania 25. In a match that will go down in history, no matter who you are. So, yeah. Undertaker, Batista, last man standing. <clears throat> of course, it's amazing what Undertaker can do in the ring, even at an old age. But hey, Undertaker is the first man to tell you that age does not matter. I'm saving this scene right here. I'll just call it something. I don't know. Okay, do that. Okay, saving it in the highlight reel. <laughs> No reason. Other than just cool. Alright. There you are. Just get Taker's long entrance out of the way. Spent like two minutes on Taker's entrance. Sheesh. Yep, here's Batista. There you go. Big Dave. I mean, he's a good heel. Don't get me wrong. I like him better as a face, but he's a good heel. Oh, darn it. He's not wearing his blue trunks. Darn it. Why is he not wearing his blue trunks? Come on. I'm just joking, obviously. I'm just kidding, Batista. You're awesome. Oh, an Undertaker out of the gate with a flying clothesline. What the coincidence? But yeah, there's Taker just going into Batista here. One of the victims of the streak. Soul versus Soul. I don't know. I don't know. I mean... <clears throat> so yeah, alright. It's got Batista up here. Not something that most people do that well, but... Instead of like chucking him out of the ring, which would be kind of cool, he instead decides to chuck him into his turnbuckle. He's oh, and a boot from Batista. Last man standing match. Last man standing. He's just got those steps right here. And boom, Batista. Going to work here. Got Taker now with a counter. I don't know what he did there, but whatever. I guess it works. He broke. Don't fix it. 
So yeah, I'm just gonna point this out right here. Do you know any movies where the main character gets killed off in the end? Let me just name off a few. Donnie Darko, Old Yeller, Romeo and Juliet. Sure. Oh, he's like, look like he's laying on the steps there. Sheesh. Hey, at least this is better than toy channels, am I right? Am I right, folks? Okay. Let's just do this. Just do the dead man's dive. Let's do this. Bada boom. Sheesh, Louis. Woohoo! And Batista! <laughs> really wrecked him on that one. So, I guess you gotta do something cool. I know you're probably already experiencing pain because you probably subscribed to my channel, but whatever. You do you. Follow your dreams. You get the idea. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna do a Batista bomb uh, like on the apron and stuff. Not on the apron, I mean the. Yeah, we just did it like on the. On bare concrete, you know. Classic Undertaker, just sit up. After like a devastating move, it's one of those occasions where Taker's like, "That is adorable that you just killed me on the ape on the on on bare concrete. That is adorable." Oh come on! I thought you would say Bootista. Say Bootista. That would make a lot of internet fans happy. <laughs> Just kind of a spoiler for you. I was behind Daniel Bryan, but Batista. I think Batista did deserve to come back. It's just I. I just didn't think he would. He would have been perfect in the main event of WrestleMania. So that'd be the equivalent of. That would be the equivalent of if. <coughs> That would kind of be the equivalent of if you. This would pretty much be the equivalent of if you, if you decided to hire back, say, uh, what's the good one? AJ Lee made her win like a women's Royal Rumble, and and just instead of a young up and comer, and was like. Yo, you're gonna face Charlotte at WrestleMania for the SmackDown Women's title. <laughs> That's what it's like. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you get the idea, don't you? Oh, jeez. This is there's blood in the PG era. We need to we have problems guys. There's blood in the PG era. That's Of course this channel isn't going to obviously be about just jokes about the PG era. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to find both these guys. Just saying. Just saying. Never. Just pick them up. We don't need that. I'm pretty sure that I, I can only imagine little Timmy in the front row over there. Oh, she's always Batista bomb. I can only... Wait, no, let me go back to limit little Timmy. Little Timmy right there isn't going to be happy that, that both guys are bleeding. <laughs> so, three, four, five... Six. Seven. No, get back up on your feet, man. Guys, he's bleeding heavily. We need to we need to ban him and stuff, you know? That's oh, just least. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I think this is Batista's time to say... I'm dead. It's finally over. Oh my goodness. It's over. There's a thumbnail for...